This is the Heavy Hitter Club channel. What's up, everybody? Marco here from the Heavy Hitter Club with another excerpt. This time is from last night's webinar. Now, we covered a lot of things last night. We covered uh, silo structure, which this is the excerpt that we're going to show. This is the clip. We also covered how to build a website in under 10 minutes. Actually, with talking and everything, I went to almost half an hour. But can you imagine having a full four page website with content and images in about 10 minutes? A little bit of editing and in that half half hour that it took me to explain it, you can have it fully customized. How good is that? I then showed a chat GPT prompt so that you can have chat GPT think for you instead of you having to do all the thinking so that you can prompt chat GPT. And so Without further ado, this is what we shared last night. Questions. What's the question? Jump in there. For Jan um, Gonzalez. Yeah. He says, could you help me learn about building silos for local business and service area pages? And then it goes into, so for example, a plumber with multiple services in multiple cities or like a mortgage company license in multiple states. And then they said, should I create a state directory and then list all the cities like Domain, Florida, Miami Mortgage Broker, so I'm going to show you multiple ways, and I'll tell you the pros and cons of each, and then you can decide, right? And it depends on what you're trying to do um, as to which way you decide. So let me share my screen, mm -hmm. share. Okay, so I'm assuming you can see my pretty whiteboard here. There we go. So the way you look at this is if you're going to have your home page, right? So if I look at this as, do I have multiple GMBs when you're saying in multiple cities? If you have multiple GMBs, so I'm going to go with just one GMB to start, and we'll kind of build on this. So if I only have one Google My Business profile I'm trying to rank in a map, I normally make that like the home page. So the home page is all about that one major city, and then you have suburbs, right? So you got to think through what your ultimate plan is. So if you got, you know, just the home page, is in the local business plus the city, right? And then you're going to have your services. So you got your services. So you got like your top level service pages. And then under that, you may have posts that silo under each service. Okay. So that's the simplest, I would say, way to do it if you just have the one, uh, one local business or GBP for that one city. Right, because it, it, the, the more that you expand this, then the more it gets more and more complicated, right? Because now, okay, what we'll do is let's say we have the organization, and then we have one GMB, two GMBs, right? Now, the way you can do this is under each of those GMBs. So let's we'll stick with plumbing. So you got... If this is, you know, GMB1, this is GMB2, and now under here you have water heater repair, what was it, leaks, and drain cleaning, and then you also have water heater repair, links, and drain cleaning, right? So you can do a service under each one of those, right? So you can build it this way. So then this would be, so each of these would be like, you know, service, plus city, right, would be each one of these individually. That's kind of what that would be about. So you end up with, at that point, though, what you end up with is you're going to have two. So you got one, two pages that are both going to be about water heaters. One might be water heaters Tampa, and the other one might be water heaters, you know, Orlando, right? So now you've got the same service listed multiple times. Not a big deal, right, except you can see here now you're going to have you know, if you end up with 25 cities, now you're going to have a 25 water heater pages, right? So that's where you have to decide kind of when you get into scale how this works. And then if you're using mass page builders and all kinds of different questions that come into that, right? The other option for this same scenario where you got just two GMBs, okay? I'll try to keep this one on here as well, but you have your organization, 
and then you're going to have local business one and local business two, right? And then you're going to have service one, service two, and service three. So you got, let's say, this one, let's say it was Tampa, and this one was Orlando for the cities. And then over here, you had water heaters, drain cleaning, and um, I think it was what, water leaks or something like that. So now you have the same, you got two locations, three services, but you're only making five pages versus this other route, you're making one, two, three, or you're making one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pages. So you've, you've eliminated the having multiple water heater pages, right? And then this is where you can start, you got interlinking going on. So you can say my Tampa page, right, provides this service, this service, and this service. And then my Orlando page provides, so you, you say what your services are, right? By linking to that, and on each of these pages, you could have like a paragraph about each service that then links to it or a listing of all your services, right? And it's more, you, you write a little bit about each service on the page with the city modifiers, and you're not making a service plus city page for every single city you have, right? Again, it's not, it's five pages this way and eight pages this other way, right? But as soon as you add a third GMB, now you went from adding one more page to adding four more pages. Mm -hmm. So if you think about it, every time you add a GMB to this scenario, you're adding four additional pages. Every time you add a GMB to this scenario, you're only adding one additional page, right? Same thing. Every time you add a service, now you're going to add that service times the number of GMBs in this scenario. So if you got 10 GMBs, you add the service, now you got to make 10 service pages. If you add a service, all you're doing is adding one more service, and you could update the GMBs to include that service, right? So that's this option, right? It becomes then you're controlling this with interlinking and things like that. A good example of this, we'll stick with plumbing, is Rotorooter kind of does this motto. They have their entire services section, right? So they have a whole part about services. And then under each of those services has several blog posts that feed up into those services. And then they also have kind of like, if I'm remembering correctly, they'll have like a locations page. So from some of these... So within these blog posts here, if they're trying to power up a, a specific uh, location, they may link directly just to one location, right? But then a lot of times they'll say they'll have a, a another page that's like from here that is like all the service locations. And from there, that's just linking every single one of their services, right, if they have a whole bunch. So within these blog posts, then they can say, oh, well, check out all our plumbing service locations go there and they start to distribute it that way, right? But it saves them if you get up to, you know, let's say you get 10 service pages or 10 locations and you got to make four services per location. Now you just have to make 40 pages extra if you go. All right, so so right, be way. before you go on, because mm -hmm. this can get really confusing if they're just looking at that, why don't you show him what the URL slug would look like? Okay. For this way, your so, URL. Right. If you go this route, let me find. Text. So let's let just do domain.com forward yeah. slash and start there. Domain.com backslash um, Tampa backslash water heater. Yeah. How can very I simple, this? very clean. Right. And then you got domain.com backslash Tampa, backslash drain cleaning, okay? So that's, you know, how do I make that? Let's see. I don't know how to make that smaller. But anyway, you see what I'm saying? If you go and then over here, the problem is you're now going to have domain.com backslash Orlando backslash water heater and domain.com backslash Orlando 
backslash drain. Let's just do DC so they stay on one line. And for water heater, I'm going to say WH. Just so it stays on one line there. But do you see how what I'm saying with that? Okay, so this is clean if you only have, you know, one GMB. But now mm -hmm. if you end up with a whole bunch of cities, you're going to have a water heater page under every city. So you're going to have to make – here you already got two water heater pages. You add another one, you're going to have another water heater and drain cleaning. If you go this route, right, you can have domain dot – if I could spell <laughs> – um, backslash. And here where you could do locations backslash Tampa. Right, or you could just do domain.com backslash Tampa. Right, that's just if you want to put your locations page that lists all of your cities that link down in the URL slug here. So either one of those would work. And then for your services, now you just got domain.com backslash, and again, you could have a overall services page and then water heater. Or you could just go domain.com backslash water heater, right? So you only ever have one water heater page on your entire domain, and you interlink from the water heater page up to your locations. And then with each of your locations, you can put little blurbs about each of these that then jump link to the water heater pages or something like that. So those are the different ways on how to do that. Um, it's kind of one of those things. It's it's there's a thousand People have all kinds of different options on how they do this. Um, to me, it comes down to how many GMBs you're going to have, how many services are you going to have, and how are you doing this. If you're manually doing this in WordPress, right, I go with this route here. If I'm manually creating these in WordPress, I'm going to have a whole bunch of them because I don't want in WordPress end up having to make a thousand water heater pages if I end up with a thousand city pages that I'm wanting GBPs for. That's just my personal opinion now, on how uh, I do that. Jordan j just commented that he never does you know, .com procedure LASIK. He, he does .com LASIK, and that's fine. That's fine yeah. when you only have one city that your doc works in. Let that doc get a, a, a series of, of what do you call it, uh, um, offices all throughout the U.S. in different cities. And see how it's how it can get really confusing and complicated, but I mean I'm, th th that's fine too. I mean virtual silos or physical silos. What, and yes, it, hops do matter. We yeah, know so they he, matter. He's talking about he doesn't put this part in, right? And you don't have to have that part. That's just, just some people like to see it in the URL. Some people don't, mm. right? On mine, I've done it both ways. So it just depends on how you want to interlink and stuff. But as Mar as what Jordan's stating is, if you we had a, it, we had a webinar about why hops matter. Yeah, if you do it this way, where you have these three hops, now you got to link one, two. So you're two pages deep from your main domain. Here you're only one hop deep from your main domain. So that's what he's saying. Same with locations, right? He doesn't put that location in Tampa. He'll just put the domain and the city. And then domain and the actual service. He doesn't include the maybe you could call this a hub page, like a locations hub and a services hub. He doesn't put those possible hub pages within the URL structure. So virtual, this would be more of a virtual mm -hmm. where these are actually part of the locations. And this is a um, physical where you can physically see what this is in the URL structure. So. Yeah, yeah, you would still have the locations page. Yeah, Jordan, we we understand. You would still have the locations page. You just wouldn't have it in in the URL slug, and that's fine too. That's not only personal preference now, but you lose link equity the further you go in your URL hops. It's part of the distance graph algorithm, guys. But those of you who want to know what it is, is the distance graph algorithm, which counts the number of hops you are away from 
the seed site or seed, what's called the seed site or the seed set, meaning that your root is the strongest part of your website. Then the next part of the slug, whatever page you're going to, that's the next uh, or most important. That's the next one. The further you get away, so let's say you go three, four hops, what you're telling Google actually is that that, that page is less important. That page is less important. That's what you're telling Google. And it's not me telling you. It's it's the 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 the, the it's the algorithm. It's it's how the algorithm works. It it's the the patent. It's the page rank patent updated. The the distance graph. We've covered this ad infinitum. You guys have access now to the old charity webinars. Andrew, you've been with us before. You know what I'm talking about. BJ, a lot of you guys know what I'm talking about. When I say the further you are away from trust and authority, and yes, in your own website you can be far away from trust and authority. That's why you would eliminate all of these hops internally, but you can control that in WordPress, right? And, and on how you uh, build the the slug, how you build your, your URLs. And that's what we're talking about here. And there you go. That's what we shared last night or part of what we shared. As I said, we also, we also shared how to build the WordPress web, website with AI. The AI will do everything for you. All you have to do is fill in a couple of fields and press a button and off you go. We also shared a prompt to have GPT work for you as a true assistant, as a virtual assistant, as a true virtual assistant. I know you're paying, it's 20 bucks a month if you're paying in, in chat GPT plus. You don't have to. But I just think you bet you get better results in chat GBT for I'm not endorsing it. I'm not doing anything except saying that's what I do. I, I mean, if, if you heard me talk in other in other videos, I actually like the open AI playground, but not everybody has access to that. At any rate, that's what we shared in this one. You might think, well, yeah, the, the, the URL structure is for beginners. Not all of it. Not, the, not, not this whole video, because I mean, we to actually get into the, the, the Google algorithm, the Google patent that actually talks about why you should not have so many hops in between your home page and whatever page it is that you're trying to rank. You shouldn't be going through all of these different pages in the URL or all of these different forward slash, forward slash, forward slash, because all of those tell Google that it's so far away that it's not important. That's what you're that's what you're telling Google. So these are things that you should know. If you want to see the full it, we went over two hours last night talking, answering questions, giving people actionable information. If you want access to that and the upcoming upcoming webinars, and in fact we have DC Glenn, the brain supreme from Tag Team, next Wednesday. He's up and he's going to talk, talk about tag team, the success of his whoop, there it is record, the success of, of, the, of the Geico commercial and what he has been doing for the past 30 years. How do you remain relevant through a 30 year career when it's one song that's driving you? If you look at it that way, well, yeah, one song, but everything that he's doing to, to buoy that. To keep it relevant is what matters. And it's the story behind all that that matters. So please, join us. You have to go to heavyhitter.club forward slash HHC forward slash B dash A dash hero forward slash and donate to the charity. Read about the charity. Watch the video. Watch the video. The video is really important because it talks about the kind of people we help, the girls that we help, the girls that are that we try to give a second chance to and make and, and help become productive members of society. It, it's it's a really important cause. And if you only donate to get access to the webinars, that, I mean that's fine. I just fine. I don't want to know. I thank you. And whether it's a dollar or whether it's a thousand dollars, I thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you. And until next time, see ya. This is the Heavy Hitter Club channel. 
don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell.